now at nine of magnitude. 6.0 earthquake struck south of Lake Tahoe near a California and Nevada border this afternoon. And the aftershocks, they were felt right here in the Bay Area. Video shows the damage from the epicenter on I-395, that's near Colville. Boulders are falling all over the road there. Good evening, everybody. I'm Vicki Liviakis. And I'm Catherine Heenan. And for Grant Lotus, we have team coverage tonight on the earthquakes. Cronford Chief Meteorologist Lawrence Carno standing by with the latest update. But first, we're going to go to Cronford's Taylor Basaki. She's here in the studio where, by the way, a lot of us uh, felt this today, Taylor. Yeah, you know, I actually felt it in the city as well. The door in my apartment made a little bit of a creaking, popping sound, and then I quickly realized what just happened. And based on all of your responses to my post on Twitter, it sounds like many of you felt it as well. Everywhere from San Jose to Antioch and to Fairfield, USGS says this is actually pretty common for this fault zone. However, it is the largest earthquake in that region since 1994. An earthquake now upgraded to magnitude 6.0 rattled the Bay Area and Northern California on Thursday. At about 3.29 local time this afternoon, a magnitude 5.9 earthquake occurred in Antelope Valley in the Eastern California near the California-Nevada border. The maximum felt shaking that's been reported so far to the USGS was moderate to strong. That's enough to knock things over, really give you a rattle. Here near the epicenter of the earthquake in Colville, yeah, it's an earthquake. drivers along I-395 saw dirt shake from the mountains, which eventually led to boulders scattered across the interstate. Austin Elliott with USGS says more aftershocks are common. There have been about 40 or, 40 or more aftershocks so far, smaller ones than the main event. Uh, the large one so far was a magnitude 4.5. Here in the Bay Area, many of you took to Twitter, letting us know where you felt the shakes. Everywhere from San Jose to Brentwood, San Francisco, Vacaville, and many places in between. Meanwhile, those who may be vacationing in Lake Tahoe probably felt a more powerful shake. But I'm right here up at the Willard Sports Shop here in Tahoe City, right by Fanny Bridge, right on the lake. When it came through, it was kind of eerie because we have southwest winds about 15 to 20 miles an hour right now blowing. There was an eerie kind of a calm, and then it was more of a meandering shake, not violent. The entire building here shook from side to side for one to two seconds. Then there was a pause, and then it shook again. While this is the largest earthquake to hit the region since 1994, USGS says it's not uncommon. The earthquake is the result of normal faulting. Uh, it's a pretty well understood and expected mechanism for an earthquake at the eastern boundary of the Sierra Nevada mountains. Now, if you haven't already, USGS says this is another reminder to get yourself prepared for future earthquakes and get an emergency kit ready. I'm Taylor Basaki reporting. Back to you. All right. Thank